Welcome to Teach Me Tuesday. In this video, I'm going to create a photo frame and my inspiration is my new grand kitty, Jack. Jack is a blue Russian and when I took this photo, I knew I had to frame it in something special. The items needed for this project are the folk art chalk paint in gray, along with the paint and wax brush set, and then the folk art sponge, and then your choice of frame. I'm using a five by seven wood frame. The color is kind of a green gold, and I'm starting by using the gray chalk paint, and I'm going to use the smallest brush in the set and completely cover all of my frame with this gray chalk paint. You'll also notice that I've covered the glass with blue painter's tape to protect the paint from getting on any of the glass. It does come off easily, but it's just a lot easier to clean up. The next step is to let the paint dry. Now you can let it air dry, but I'm speeding up the process so I can do this a little bit faster. The next step is to dampen your sponge and tap it off on a paper towel. You don't want your sponge too wet, but you want to use this kind of as a sanding surface. And you're going to remove some of that chalk paint that you just put on. And what this does is expose your color underneath, giving it an antiqued or your shabby chic look. Now you can paint one color to be your underneath color first. I was happy with the color that the photo frame was initially. However, you would do that in two steps then. You would use the first color as your base coat, then you would put your next color on, and then you would use your sponge to sand to see whatever your first color was underneath. Make sure you seal your project with the home decor wax. This will keep it beautiful for years to come. Here is my finished frame, and now I just simply need to cut down my photo and assemble. And here is my finished photo frame of Jack. Happy creating! Thanks for watching! All of the items that I use to create my photo frame can be found on stampingscrapping.com.